So is it even worth starting an Amazon business in 2019? I'm gonna share with you guys some shocking evidence and stats that will help you decide whether or not it's worth it for you to start an Amazon business in 2019 and beyond. So I pulled up a few different websites here on my computer that share their overall growth and trend of Amazon throughout the years. And by the way, I just searched for Amazon growth in Google and I found many different news articles and websites and stats that came up for the company as a whole. So here's an article from CNBC that shares that Amazon sales grew by 15 billion year over year and its peers don't even come close to that level of growth. So Amazon uh, reported sales of 52.9 billion for the second quarter, which is up 39% from the year ago period uh, when it saw 38 billion. So pretty impressive uh, growth. Um, also mentions that Walmart, uh, uh, which is Amazon's competitor for April quarter, grew sales by five billion year over year, and uh, Target increased sales by just uh, 764 million. Okay, so Amazon is significantly bigger, of course, from uh, the stats than uh, Walmart and Target. They're growing at a much faster pace, even though uh, Walmart is still growing year after year as well. Okay, very interesting. Let's look at the overall um, growth from 2004 to 2017. So this is from the website statista.com and it's sharing the growth from 2004 which was just a measly $6.9 billion. Um, had a, a actually fairly slow growth from 2004, 2005, 2006. Um, you know, still growing nonetheless, but from 6.9 billion to 8.4 to 10, uh, 10 billion to 14 billion to 19 to 24 billion in 2009 uh, to 2010, 34 billion. And then from there, it just starts growing pretty fast. So uh, this is stats from 2017 because right now I'm filming this in 2018 and we don't have stats yet for 2018, but it is significantly higher than 2017. We're going to know that for sure. But uh, looks like uh, 2017 is 177 billion. Now, that's a big growth from 2016 at 135 billion and even from 2015 at 107 billion. So overall, you can see from this, Amazon is a growing company. They're expanding, they're making more money. Um, that is a good sign. It's a good sign if you wanna start selling on Amazon, a lot more opportunity, a lot more potential, a lot more money to be made. But I also wanna uh, share with you guys how much more competitive Amazon has become as well, because it's worth looking at both sides and just understanding that piece as well, because you know, based on this growth, 39% from one quarter year after year, that's pretty significant. You gotta ask yourself, is the competition uh, and, 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 and making it too hard to keep up with that growth? Right, that's something that is worth considering if you are gonna to decide to sell on Amazon. So one thing that's interesting when I look at this, you know, I started uh, selling on Amazon in 2011 with books and uh, not seriously till around 2012. And um, you know, people always say, you know, Stefan, if I had started, it must've been so much easier back then. You know, if I had started back in 2012 like you did, you know, I, I would be making so much more money and be so much easier. Um, yes, maybe, I don't know, but back in 2012, Amazon is three times smaller than what it is today, right? So there actually wasn't as much money to be made. Um, it's a lot easier now, in my opinion, because there's way more people on Amazon spending money and it's a lot easier to make money from that. It's kind of similar to YouTube. People say, well, Stefan, you know, when you started YouTube, it was uh, a lot easier than it is now. It's less competitive, it's less saturated. But when I started, it was a lot harder to, for example, get videos that uh, have like 100,000 views or a million views. Now I have videos that have done over a million views, some quite a few over 100,000 views, but it was harder back then because there's just less people using YouTube. They weren't spending as much time on YouTube. So overall, competition increases, yes, but also the growth of these platforms, the people using these platforms and spending money on these platforms are also growing significantly as well. So I believe it kind of washes itself up. You know, is it harder or easier? It's like the same, you know, it's, there's more money to be made, but there's also more competition. So it's kind of like a wash in my opinion. Um, so here's a website I found, I'm gonna share with you guys some stats. Amazon currently has 12 marketplaces. 
Uh, actually, more than that right now, this article's a little bit old. USA, the UK, Germany, France, Canada, Japan, India, Italy, Spain, Mexico, Brazil, and China, and also now they open Amazon Australia, and Singapore is also launching soon. So that's a positive sign. Amazon is expanding to different countries, different marketplaces. Their ultimate vision is basically world domination. So uh, if Amazon's not, as at least the major countries at first, if they're not there now, they will be eventually soon, as long as there's a market and demand for it, which technology obviously is moving in that trend of people buying things more and more online and from Amazon. Uh, okay. Um, so according to this, let's find out some stats about Amazon sellers. Sorry, my computer's acting a little bit slow. So apparently there's over 1 million, 1 million new Amazon sellers that uh, uh, started selling on Amazon this year. Uh, I think this is from 2017, okay? So this is a year old stats because we don't have 2018 stats yet. So over a million new sellers a year. Uh, so that's the equivalent of around 3,000 new sellers every single day, okay? so. There's a lot of new people selling on Amazon. Now, the reality is, is that not all of those sellers, of course, are gonna actually even do anything. It's kind of like people that buy books, less than 10% of people they found actually read past the first chapter of a book. I think it's the uh, same thing with Amazon that I would venture to say that less than 10% of those people actually even do anything on Amazon, you know, launch a product, start selling anything. There's a lot of, a lot of dabblers that are out there. Um, so. I would say a large percent don't do much, and obviously there's only a certain percent that really do well. You know, there's always like with anything, there's the top 10% of people that are really doing well, the top 1%. So I think it's kind of common with any platform, any marketplace, even if that's YouTube, however many YouTube channels get started every year, only a certain percent actually put out videos, and only a certain percent of them actually you know, do anything to, to, to build 10,000 subscribers plus and actually build a legitimate channel. Same thing with a Facebook page, same thing with an Instagram. Uh, all of these, you know, websites, all of these are starting every year, but again, only a certain percent are people that actually take it seriously, do something with it, and turn it into a legitimate business and a money-making career. So, there's a lot more stats that I could share with you guys um, on this. It's pretty interesting to dive into that. But here's the thing, here's what I find interesting. I want you to make your own conclusion based on the data, based on the stats. Is it worth it for you? Okay, is it worth it for you to start selling on Amazon? There's two different ways you can interpret this data, this information, which is gonna tell us something about your mindset. Uh, Carol Dweck read a, a great book called Mindset. She's a psychologist and she talked about there's two mindsets people have. There's the fixed mindset and then there's the growth mindset. And she found some interesting things about the difference. That people that have a fixed mindset, they're gonna look, for example, at data information that I just presented to you, and they're gonna look at it as, you know what, I can't, I, I can't become that, I can't grow, I can't, uh, I can't be successful, it's too competitive, and they're gonna look for reasons to justify their mindset their beliefs, to rationalize it, right? Other people, on the other hand, they have a growth mindset will look at this and say, yeah, there's more competition, but there's also all this room for growth. There's all this potential, all this opportunity and possibility. And they will validate, confirm, and justify their mindset. Who's right, who's wrong? I'm not sure. But I know those who, those who become more successful based on all the research and all the studies are those with the growth mindset. People that look at how they can grow, they look at challenges, opportunities, possibilities, and they welcome it, and they act on it, and they pursue it. The people with the growth mindset are the ones that get a lot further ahead, and especially when it comes to business, when it comes to uh, creating success, creating abundance in their life. There's also the scarcity mentality and the abundance mentality. Someone that has a scarcity mentality will look at it and say, well, it's too competitive stuff and it's too saturated. I can't compete everyone else. How am I gonna stand out? It's so much harder. And again, they're gonna focus, because they're conditioned themselves to, to focus on the lack, 
focus on the lack of opportunity, how hard it is. They're going to you know, focus and feed themselves with that to further condition that scarcity mentality that they have. Someone with the abundance mentality looks at it and says, hey, you know what? There's more than enough for everybody. There's more than enough. Amazon continues to grow. So even if I start in 2019, 2020, 2021, look at all that potential future growth that is available for me that I can benefit from. And there's more than enough people that can benefit from it as well. They're not in fear. They're not worried. They don't have the anxiety that someone that has a scarcity mentality will have. Two different mindsets. Your mindset, your psychology will determine your success. So which mindset are you going to take on based on this information, based on this data? That's what's going to determine whether or not you take action, whether or not you even start, whether or not you begin. And it's not until you shift your mindset that I believe you'll really be able to break through in your life and create abundance and success. Now, the, the truth and the reality is, okay, this is 100% fact, today, there's people that are going to start on Amazon and they're going to be making money. They're going to be doing well. They're going to have success in 2019, 20, 21, 22, 22. Starting today, they've never had any experience before from somewhere in the world, never done it, and they're going to start and they're going to succeed. There's other people that aren't going to start. There's people that are going to start next week, next month, next year, two years, three years, five years from now that will also go on to succeed as well. But there's also people that won't start and there's people that will start but also won't succeed. They will fail or they'll get, they'll get discouraged, they'll give up. So what determines your success? Is it Amazon? Is it the market? Well, the opportunity is there. It's evident. Is it the competition that will determine your success? No. Guys, what determines your success is you. You. You are the one that will determine your success. You are the one that will determine whether or not if you start selling on Amazon, it is successful or not. It's based on you. It's based on your mindset, your attitude, what you learn, the, the information you choose to consume, the courses, the trainings, the resources that you decide to utilize to benefit you so that you can learn and grow and learn things that all these other sellers that are starting on Amazon don't know because you can have an advantage over them. If you have the right information, it doesn't have to be hard. It can actually be relatively easy if you know what you're doing, if you can fast track things by learning from others more successful than yourself. It's going to be determined on the actions that you take. How much time you put in, how much money you put in, how much you invest, how much sweat equity that you put into your business. It's going to be determined based on the actions of you building a brand, creating content, building your, your social media influence, building your website, building, just building an actual company, a business. That's what it takes. These are the things that those that are most successful are doing. If they can do it, then why can't you as well? If people that are going to start today are going to go on to succeed, then why can't you do as, as well? You know, the people that, for example, that start today, and I'm sure you're in this boat as well when you're starting, they always said, man, Stefan, I wish that I started sooner. I wish I started a year ago. I wish I started five years ago. I the sooner that I started that today, I'd be benefiting from it. Today, I've had that success. And so you have the choice, okay, are you going to say, oh, I can't do this and it's not for me and then you're going to let time go by and then you're going to have that regret wishing that you did start? It's best to start now, guys. They say the best time to have planted a tree was uh, 20 years ago. Second best time is right now today. So as you can tell, I have a growth mindset. I'm biased. Of course, I believe that Amazon and I look for the opportunity and things. I look for the good. I look for the positive. That's just my nature and what I've conditioned myself to do. And I want to not limit you guys in any way from what you're capable of. And the success that is possible for you if you do make the decision to commit. But if you are going to commit, don't be just another seller. Don't just be one of the other millions of sellers out there that dabble. That say, okay, I'm going to start a business, but they're not really committed to it. They're not really serious. Of course, if you're not serious and committed, then you're not going to get much back. The more you put in, the more you get is what you get out of it, right? You put in 100%, you get 100% back. You put in 10%. You're not going to get much back. So it's up to you to decide what kind of experience you want to have, what kind of success that you want to have. Those that I've seen that go on to succeed are the ones that take it seriously, that commit themselves. They say, Stefan, 
you know, I'm gonna, what's a good course that I can get? Okay, I'm gonna follow your guidance. I'm gonna follow the training step by step by step by step. I'm gonna continue to learn. I'm gonna, you know, there's gonna be ups and downs. I'm gonna learn from those experiences. I might get some coaching, mentorship. I'm gonna learn about marketing online. I'm gonna start building my brand and it's not gonna happen overnight, but I'm gonna take the necessary steps. And so as Amazon grows, I continue to grow with Amazon. And I continue to benefit for the many, many years and then I can launch on all these different marketplaces. I can launch on the US, I can launch in the UK, I can launch in Germany, in Singapore, in Australia, all over the world I can continue to grow my business as Amazon grows. How cool is that? So the opportunity is there, potential is there, but it's up to you to decide how you want to interpret things and whether or not, again, you're committed to it and if you're not, that's okay. It's nice to be honest with yourself, right? But if you are committed to it, then it's possible. It's possible. There's other people that are succeeding, so why can't you as well? You just have to have the confidence, the belief, the certainty within. Everything you need is already within you, but you just have to tap into it. Hopefully, I can give you confidence. Maybe a course or a training can give you that confidence as well to feel like you're on the right track and it's guiding you towards the success that you want. You feel like you know, you've got all the resources in your corner, all the help that you need. That's powerful. I wish I had that when I started. You know, I had to figure out a lot of stuff on my own, which took me years, and I wish I didn't have to go through that. I wish nobody has to go through that because it is freaking hard, right? So when you have information that is guiding you, it gives you confidence because now you have strategies and ideas and resources that other people don't have access to. Because guess what? Most of these sellers that are selling, I don't, I don't worry about them at all. You know, because only I know only a certain percent will actually succeed. Those are the ones that deserve the success because those are the ones that are actually committed to it, right? That's how it always works. You get rewarded when you're committed to something. So if you're committed and you have that belief and you are serious about it and going through this, then absolutely you can succeed just like thousands and thousands of other people have before you and will continue to moving forward. So is it worth it? I'll let you guys decide. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit thumbs up button, leave a comment below, subscribe for more videos. And uh, I've got a free training that can also help and serve you guys if you want to get, learn more about Amazon and how to get started with it. Just go to projectlifemastery.com slash FBA and uh, put in your name and email there. I'll send you an email that has uh, some more information for you to get started. And I look forward to serving you again soon. God bless.